Hello. My name is Bernard Leotard. I am currently research fellow at the University of California at Berkeley and visiting professor at the Finance University in Moscow. My topic is the crisis, but a very peculiar angle to it. Why? What is common to all these crises? That's the first. And the second thing, what you as businesses can do something about it. What's interesting is that the media always talks about the crisis as if it is the first one. And for us, of course, the 2007-2008 one, which is the biggest on record, since the 30s for at least, uh, is what we're referring to. In fact, the IMF has inventoried 145 banking crashes, 204 monetary collapses, and 72 sovereign debt crises, like we have currently with Greece. So what's never talked about is what's common about them. Always talked about is what's different about them. But there is something in common. And that's where the key is. A complementary currency is something, a standardized unit, that can circulate in con parallel to conventional money. A classical example is the miles that everybody has been using for 30 years, which is actually a currency issued by airlines. It doesn't have any particular other value uh, except for loyalty toward the airline. But it is a currency that people have usually not even been aware that it is a currency. We have a choice. If we try to resolve all the problems of the 21st century with the old model, with the idea of one currency per country of the same type, we are going to get in trouble. I think it's time to embrace a new way of thinking in the monetary domain.